Ladies and gentlemen, this week in the video we're going to be discussing DirectX 12's multi-GPU functionality. It's actually quite tricky to implement, at least according to Brad Wardell over at Stardock. Now he is assuring us that the team is currently working on it, um, and indeed they will be documenting the changes and how they actually are implementing it with Ashes of the Singularity. However, because the API is brand new and no one's actually done it at the moment, at least developers, they're finding it rather tricky to be able to just uh, kind of get right on it. For those of you who are unfamiliar with DirectX 12's implementation of uh, multi-GPUs, there's actually multiple iterations of it. It's not a simple um, SLI or Crossfire design, which is what's happening at the moment. Indeed, the multi-adapt technology is actually really impressive with the RedTex 12 because for one, let's assume that you are a user who has, let's say, an Intel processor and you're also running that on top of a high-end NVIDIA device, just for the sake of argument. Well, at the moment, with the RedTex 11, as you're probably aware, let's say you've got a 980 in your system along with some i5 derivative. Well, the 980 is the only thing that's going to be rendering the frames to your monitor. It's that simple. Your CPU, of course, will be happy to send the data as per normal, but it's iGP, it's integrated GPU, it's literally doing nothing. Now, in the future, with DirectX 12, this is not going to be the case. With DirectX 12 in the future, multi-configurations of GPUs, so in other words, not vendor-specific, which we know NVIDIA and Intel are definitely going to work, and one can theorize that AMD and NVIDIA will also work. Um, and what will happen in those situations, depending on the configuration, as I mentioned, there are different ways to implement um, multi-GPU functionality with DirectX 12. We've actually done full analysis of this uh, in the uh, past, actually, not too long ago, so I'll place a link in the video description if you want more information. But effectively, you could have the GPU, for example, um, the main GPU, the high-end device, the 980, you could have that do the main rendering of the game, and then you could have the IGP, say, do things along the lines of post-processing or anti-aliasing or maybe lighting correction, that type of thing. In other words, tasks which are not so, um, so strenuous, so you're not going to slow down the frame time simply because you know, you're waiting for the low-end GPU to come complete this. Now I'm actually really interested about how this is going to work in reality. Is it necessarily going to revolutionize the PC in terms of how it runs, how performance uh, or how users can enjoy you know, improved performance in the systems? Probably not revolutionize because at the end of the day, you know, I imagine that in terms of raw percentage there's going to be quite a lot of gap between the user's IGP and their dedicated GPU. However, that isn't to say that it won't come in handy. And let's face it, even if you're getting 10, 20% improvements in frame rate, obviously, once again, it does depend on the setup, that type of thing. It's only a good thing. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the fairly brief video. I'm going to get going. Hopefully, uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.